eerste ontmoeting met de kadaver kan soms een warrelwind van emoties veroorzaak. So I was excited more than anything to see a cadaver and it's for me it was almost like it's a new world of exploration. Um, I was definitely very nervous. They did give us preparation before but nothing can really prepare you for that first time walking in and you just see this room where there's just um, these metal trays lined up with the bodies on them and they're all covered with white sheets and it's just it's so it's exciting. I'll be honest um, it didn't sink in until after a um, couple of days that um, this was actually like um, this was once a living person now they're on the table and um, you you know, they're here for us to dissect. Beendere, ingewande en breine is van die lichaamsdele wat bestudeer en onderzoek word tijdens medische studenten se opleiding as dokters. Maar hoe skenk jy jou hele lichaam? People who wish to donate their bodies to us uh, can complete the forms that we have on the UCT website and it becomes a contract really between that individual person, the donor, and the university. And when once they uh, pass on, then the undertakers bring the bodies to us, we embalm the bodies and then we usually wait a year. And so the following year we will then bring those bodies up to the dissection hall and the students will then begin dissecting them. Here is the sexy, a academic oefening. Maar het bring ethische vraag na vore. Meeste van die kadavers wat op die blink operasietafels by die Universiteit van Kaapstad, Departement van Gezondheidswetenskap lê, was haveloose mense wat nie na hulle dood geïdentifiseer kon word nie. And they obviously haven't given their consent to being dissected and um, that made some of us a bit uneasy in terms of just like uh, because what if this person in their life, you know, they had um, some reasons, um, religious or otherwise, um, for not wanting to be dissected. So I would like ideally in, in 10 or 15 years time no longer to have paupers, uh, indigent people in the dissection hall because it's ethically tricky. Uh, we may be violating the cultural beliefs of those people. Dit kan slechts gebeur wanneer meer mense gewillig hul hele liggaam skenk vir mediese navorsing. So the one reason for the shortage would be that we haven't uh, really done much publicizing of this possibility. Um, the other a thing is financial, uh, it's a financial consideration for people because we cover all the costs. So if you don't have a funeral policy, if financially, if the family has hit hard times, donating the body to us could be an advantage because we take care of everything. And this is the cadavers in goeie, dankbare studente se hande. I'm so grateful to them. I think it's such a fantastic opportunity that they've given us. We've learned so much and we're so there's this one body that's used for six students, but now we're going to go out taking that knowledge, the things that we've learned, and we're going to help so many more people out there.